Inktober is an art challenge for the month of October. Every day it's a different theme and today's theme is flame. So instead of drawing fire, I am going to draw with fire. So let's go. Uh, I looked up a few tutorials about this. There's some really cool artists. I'm going to link them up in the description below. And uh, I'm going to try a few things. One with the candle, one with the lighter. And the idea is that it makes soot on the paper and it creates designs. So this kind of reminds me of when I was a teenager. My brother actually took a blowtorch to his ceiling in his bedroom and did like all kinds of cool swirls and stuff. So this is very reminiscent of that and we're going to see what I could do without burning the house down. So there we go. Uh, so let's try first. Why don't we try start with, with the candle since it's already going and the idea is like just to create soot without burning the paper. So this is experimental. I'm not even sure how this is supposed to work. So I do definitely don't want to... Oh, there we go. It's going. It's going. I think you have to work quickly. There we go. We're starting to create some soot here. It's not going super well though. I'm going to try it. I think there's a fine art to this without burning it. Let's see how close... Maybe you have to get like actually close to the paper which I'm doing oh yeah you actually have to touch the paper it looks like so let's do this without burning it and maybe because there's like it's right against the paper it doesn't seem to be burning it's actually like creating soot which is really cool and the artists that do this actually have control over what they draw so ooh, that was a good one let's just kind of go around here so this is how it's looking so far. Let's try with the lighter. Let's see what it's going to do. So we're going to do this and then just go right up there and hopefully not burn it. Maybe this doesn't work as well. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh yeah, you like literally drawing with the flame. It's not working as well as with the candle. Let's try. Maybe I'm going too fast, but I really don't want to burn this thing. That's cool. So that worked a little bit. So now let's try with the match. There we go. Woo. So I'm going to get another, I'm going to get another paper. We're going to try this without burning it. Let's get this. So that's somewhat working. And we definitely do not want to burn this. But we're like actually, wow. Like I'm actually touching the paper with this flame. I think this definitely takes practice. But now our thing is going to burn out, so that's not so good. Okay, so this isn't super practical. So let's try the lighter again. There we go. And just see what we can do with that. Maybe swirls. Oh gosh, it's going like right through there. Around here. And then I'm going to scratch into it after. So I'm going to keep going with this. Until I have enough dark areas. It's starting to smell like burning paper. So let's try this again with this one. I think the candle is the best bet. Honestly, guys, the candle seems to create the most like soot. So if you're going to do this, do it with the candle. So I'm going to do some more soot on there and then I'm going to scratch into it. So these turned out really cool. And uh, I'm just gonna figure out what I wanna do with them. I kinda like this one as is. It looks really interesting. So I'm gonna put that one at the side. And um, I have this one here. So I'm gonna try different things where I scratch into them and stuff. We'll see what they're going to do. So I'll start by like taking a paintbrush. I don't know if it's gonna do anything. And oh, actually, look at that. It actually removes some of the 
of the soot so that's super cool and then of course I imagine the eraser is going to work as well so if that worked the eraser is going to work so you can probably just like maybe maybe even mold this a little bit so it's got more of a point but we're going to take this and you can like kind of like oh yes you can definitely lift up color with the gum eraser that and then the other th thing I thought was to cut into it so this is actually from the nerdy crafters uh, uh, art kit craft kit I can't wait to dive into that tomorrow with my friend Patricia but she has this sharp pointy thing which looks like it might be useful so let's try that we're going to pull that one out otherwise known as a exacto knife but um, I actually didn't have an exacto knife with like this with the little point on it so I'm very delighted for that so I also don't want to like smush this up so I should get a white paper so I don't drag my hand across it but you can use I imagine this maybe yeah you could do like fine detail with this that's super cool just play around with it this is very very interesting you can make it very shadowy and stuff and just like really play around with it So the other thing you can do is go in with a pencil and see what happens. It's the first time I've ever done this guys so we'll see what happens. Thought it'd be nice to do some little hair or something like flowing hair. It's not quite the same color as the soot but you could also get a Conte which is more of a brown color if you want it to match a little more. So we're just gonna like play around with it and see what we can do with this. You can also go in with a with a paper towel after if you want to smooth out the graphite too. 